Review of the Air Rotator X8. Included is the blaster, a few darts, and the instructions. This blaster is a revolver spring blaster. It does have a new ammo type. It doesn't take normal Nerf darts. Nerf darts are just too long. They'll jam up, it won't work. Although the head design is pretty cool. So I'll go over the external, show you how it works, show you the firing, and then give you my opinion. Starting with the front, it has a really cool tip, like a muzzle or a muzzle break or whatever. It doesn't really do anything, but it does, definitely looks cool. This thing looks like it might open up the cylinder or something, but it's just molded plastic. It's a solid piece, it's not a button. No tack rails anywhere on the blaster. Um, I don't think this company has like um, attachments or anything, so wouldn't make sense. The cylinder doesn't pop out of the blaster. It stays in there and to load you feed into this groove right here. It is a little bit slower this way but it does feel cool sort of like a revolver back in the day even though those did pop out. They had this cool little ridge there um, so that's that's neat. The cylinder holds eight darts which is actually quite a lot. Um, I'm pretty impressed by that. The hammer back here doesn't do anything like you're not supposed to get your finger in there to prime it or anything. It just moves a little bit while you're firing. The trigger I actually have a pretty major complaint about this. When you fire the blaster the trigger pull feels fine. But to complete the cycle, you have to slam the trigger all the way back. Otherwise, you'll jam the blaster. Meaning you just do that to actually fire, but then you have to follow all the way through in order to rotate. So if you pull back and you're just barely firing, it's not going to rotate. So you're just going to sit there and dry fire. If you buy one, just make sure you push all the way back. This is not the ideal blaster to loan to somebody because they're likely going to jam it. It does take a round to learn how to use it. The grip is very comfortable. And in my opinion, it looks very cool. Um, a little kind of unique. This goofy looking yellow thing is the priming handle. To prime, you pull down but it doesn't have an auto return and if you try to pull the trigger it won't fire you have to push it back manually and now you're ready traditionally in nerf blasters when you just prime down it's either an auto return or you fire from this position and it just moves up when you pull the trigger so it's kind of weird that you have to pull down then push back up to fire operating this is pretty straightforward you load like i just showed you and then you prime it and then you fire Forty-five, thirty-four, forty, 40, 37 feet per second. As you can see, the performance is not very good. Um, I do not think you should buy this blaster in order to complete compete in a nerf game, sorry. It's a cool concept to have a revolver like this, but um, a strong arm is a much better candidate. It shoots smoother, more reliably, harder, um, and it's a little faster to load because the cylinder pops out of the blaster. So for performance, I really can't recommend this blaster. That being said, the shell is really, really cool. It's definitely screaming for a steampunk or some type of really cool paint job. The front muzzle is really neat. Uh, the performance, again, is not there at all. Um, but it's just a fun blaster to use and hold. It's just a goofy looking shell that's really cool. If you're trying to play a Nerf game and win, I would not recommend it. If you just want to look cool and just walk around, this is a definite awesome candidate. I would pick this over a strong arm in a looks contest. That is my opinion and review. If you'd like to purchase one, there's a purchase link in the description box below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.